Okay, so we're going to test the law of reflection. So first of all, we need to draw a nice straight line using a nice sharp pencil on some clean white paper. This straight line is going to be where our plane mirror is going to go. Next, we need to draw a normal. First thing we do is just put a little mark here um, and line up the protractor so that mark is in the middle of the protractor. Mark 90 degrees. And see, all we need is two line, uh, two two points to be able to do a straight line. Really focusing on being as neat as you can. The normal, of course, is a dotted line. Okay, now we're going to set up our incident ray at 45 degrees. 45 degrees. So we're going to set up our protractor here and work out 45 degrees from the normal. 40, 45. And we've got two points here again. So uh, from the normal across to this point. And that's our incident ray. And we know that's 45 degrees. Now let's get out the, we'll put the plane mirror in place. And we're going to use a single slit exactly on the incident ray and you can see here I just crank it's already cranked up it's you can see here here's our reflected ray so I'm just going to put a single point in the middle of the light ray and that's all we need we can move this away now and we can join this up from the point of uh, reflection on the plane mirror through to the point that we marked here and that's the reflected ray. Okay, so we knew that our angle of incidence was 45 degrees because we measured that and now we're going to measure our angle of reflection. So we're going to use a protractor for that and let's set it up so the zero is at the normal and we're going to count around, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, and I've got 48 degrees. 48 degrees is the angle of reflection. All right, so I'm going to do that three times, then we'll look at the accuracy and precision of the data.